everybody welcome to Nelly's Nook my name is Nelly I just want to share with you how I color my books today what I do with the books just to color them I use two different uh, methods this is my scrapbook so when you have a fold I either use my permanent marker and I mark them um, I mark all the pieces that I cut and fold in here. And then I do the other side too. This marker is already old because I use it in other books. Um, and this way if you look at it, you will have all black cuts. So when you do a couple of pages, you will your picture will uh, will stand out as uh, the one I did on other books, and I will show you the examples. With this book, the same as I just sh showed you, as this one, I just glue strips of the black um, black paper. It's just a black cardstock, okay? And I'll just glue them on every page that was cut. Just have to find the end of my work. Okay, you can you can see how, how it will look when it's done. So make sure that when you have a black card stock that you don't have a white edges on it because some papers they do have white edges. Make sure that it will have a black edges so the picture will pop. And we will be doing it for a second because we have a shadow cut, right? So um, every second page is only cut, so you can see how the other one is done. And this one is this one is just fold. So when we um, need something to hold more pages. So when we color the pages, just open open everything that you fold with the outside one. And I take my glue. Those strips should be long enough. If you want to cut them to the size, you can cut them to the size. If not, nothing will happen. The little ones you can just use for the smaller one, the smaller cuts. Um, they definitely, you will repurpose them. I'll just put a little bit of glue on every single cut and I insert the paper, the black strip. Make sure that it's at the end, at the end of, um, of your fold so it stands out nicely. And just hold it for a couple of seconds so it sticks to the paper and that's it. And that's how it will look. So the next one we will just pass on and again open all of them that we hold. Put a bit of glue on them and you can use, use the ball strip or just cut it a little bit. And for your page, sometimes I use my use my little tools just to push the strips outward, so it just sticks nicely where it's supposed to be. Because if you leave them in the bottom, uh, then it will not show. And that's how it looks. So 
So we'll skip that other one. And you do this until the end of your book. So we have a strip. You can cut the strip to the size. Because each page, most of the time, will be a different, a different size. So on the little ones, just put a little bit. And you have a one millimeter cut, so you won't put any glue on it because the pages would stick to other page. But when you have a little bit bigger, um, you can just use it and put a little bit of glue in there. Okay, and that's it. That's all the magic. Looks wonderful. So thank you for watching.